Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4. So, in the last episode, we took on two bosses. We had a little bit of an interruption, like a full 24 hour interruption, because I have a cold and I wanted a break. And now we're back. So, now that we're back, let's take on some enemies. Ice, ice, baby. Really nothing... Um... Okay. First, you're dead. Now you're... Oh, you're not dead. Oh, these guys aren't weak to ice. They're just immune to water. Okay. Um, since they're not weak to ice... Boom. You miss too often. Everyone misses too often. I need to start giving everyone accuracy up things. Now that I think about it. Uh, 62... Okay, so he... Oh, down by 50%, okay. Okay, yeah, so his is enough to hit these guys just about every time. Um, let's see, it is this skill... There we go, now you're gonna die. Use ladder? Okay, emerald, burger, and sundae. That makes no sense. I like it, mind you, but it makes no sense. Oh, we're gonna wait to fight that guy. Okay, this guy is weak to electricity, you say? They're all weak to ice, I believe. Yep. So, ice, you say? <laughs> and instant death, because it has a chance of doing that, which is one of my favorite things. Clouds? How are we supposed to walk on those? Those, these obstacles are getting a bit too unrealistic. Chips, topaz, and opal. So I need to get some new walking shoes soon. Drowning serpent. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> I'll come back here in a moment. There's an item, and I want it. Pizza and chips. Blimey, you have a shovel for me? You can have these old boots then. Spike boots, they were going to do something at one point, but now they do nothing. Oh, so we just got an item that doesn't do anything anymore because the, because Matt got lazy, I guess. By the powers, you flew to the stepladder. Better watch your back from now, matey. From now on, matey. However you say words. Okay, let's head up here. Nice. You know what? Let's fight this. And before we actually fight this, though, let's scan it and then run away because I'm a wimp. And I like having as many turns as possible. Okay, this thing is a blue dragon, a mighty sea dragon which uses powerful water and ice attacks, can buff the magic defense of, of other foes, weak to the good amount of things. Okay, so like I said, we're running away because we're cowards, and I need to re-equip. Okay, change this to... This? Matt... 
You already have a resistance to water. You have resistance. Okay, good. Um, to change from poison or to that. I think that means we should be good. Or wait, no, we're not good because I'm dumb. Uh, give me just a second. Yeah, that's what I want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Okay, we're actually running away from where I originally said we were going because I need to head down here and buy some liquid ice. I also, for some reason, thought the sign in the middle of the thing saying, you know, Ashwood Forest was, for some reason, an obstacle. Do they sell it here? They do not, which means I have to go to Whitefall. I was just in a town that would sell it. I just... I'm so dumb. I just realized that they have an item shop two screens from where I was. I am the dumbest of the dumb. Like, there, I don't think there are any more dumb than me. Okay, so liquid ice. Boom. So we need mithril shards, which I'm willing to buy. How much are they? 120,000. Eh, we would have to do a few battles. Yeah, I'm lazy. <laughs> Got some more wood from there. So this all should be good now. Okay, Iceberg on you. 24,000, not bad. It will not affect him. It will reduce his thing, though. Oh, he has only a 70% chance, so we technically could totally use that on him. Tasty. Oh, now we have to fight two dragons. Awesome. I was wondering how they would make this more difficult for us. Did we just seriously stun that dragon? <laughs> Come on, it missed. 
That would have been so good, though. Also, I like how they're making my attacks more powerful. It's really convenient. Um, let's remove debuffs. Cancels and allies, debuffs, and status problems. Now switch over to him. Use ice. Figured there was a good chance that was going to happen, but it's worth it. Because now we only have to fight one dragon. I really need to get the lower attack and magic attack skills. Debuffing the enemy would be a lot of fun. Okay, it's just not necessary at this point. We don't need to stun the dragon again. That's just insulting. Ow. Titanium. Mithril shards. We don't need to buy it. Bubble stone, dragon scales, steel plate, solid water. Awesome. Uh, too easy for me. Boom. His sword is now fully upgraded. Before we move on, I actually want to make a few pit stops. Let's see, that would require me to go down there. Now let's head down here. Kill this guy. Cool. Gives me time to buff. I'll at least give them the first turn, you know, be noble and all that. Pew. Okay, Arrow Rain. I think that's named for skill at least. Wow, okay. Um, I'll just use this. It doesn't matter either way. Okay, we got ham, candy cane, and sundae. You know what, let's use those. Let's see, she needs more accuracy now because she's starting to miss a lot more. Uh, keep making her the magic tank. Yep. All is good. Before we forget, six curly horns and two solid spikes. Perfect. I don't think I want to know what happened to this house. Yeah, this doesn't exactly 
look like a happy time. Whatever. I got some loot. Gold key. Use this to remove a single gold block from the map, honeycomb, and holy water. So I can do a quest with that holy water and get a chest via the gold key. Topaz, ruby, and emerald. Cool. Um, where else to go? I want to do more side stuff before I keep moving on. I think it was up here. Yeah, there's one right up here. The Coral Staff. Boost the power of water skills. May cast bubble blasts with certain skills. Gold plate and silver plates. Which means that might be enough for this. Sure enough. Cheers, mate. This should this should please my captain. Gave us the Beast Badger and we cast Quake between turns. Honeycomb and candy canes. He doesn't need more HP. <laughs> Let's be fair. He doesn't need more HP. Uh, make her more of a tank now. Start buffing up her HP so that she can survive everything ever. Jungle Flower and Cactus. Found some bricks, apparently. Do not... Oh, I read that. Never mind. Okay, we're back up here. Coral, key, seashell, and bubble stone. I don't know whether I felt this guy last time or not. Kind of looks familiar. You know what? Let's use her turn more effectively and just buff him. Yep, worth it. to be healed, or at least she does. Oh no, so bad, whatever will I do? <laughs> Actually, they managed to stun him. Good job, you saved, you know, the big guy's life. It's heal because I like ending battles at full health. Boom. Randomly cast Geyser between turns. Alright. 171,000 gold already. Yes, that's it. This should cure her. Rawr, what's happening to me? Is this real life? That holy water didn't help at all. I actually missed what I just got as a weapon, though, because I click the keyboard by mistake. Oh, well. I guess it was the bone blade, I'm not sure. 
Future Gabe, show it on the screen. You know what to do. You're the smart one who already beat me to it, probably. There we go, found the last pair of panties. Apparently you can get that metal as early as, you know, Greenwood. Ah, these smell nice. Thank you, kind sir. So we got pizza, chili sauce, and a diamond. We got the chainsaw blade. Make kill targets instantly. May cast saw blade with certain skills. Or may cast triple saw blades between turns. Tentacles and seashells. Cool, man. This will only take a second, and then you can have them back. So we got the batteries back, along with a wrecking rod. May debuffs targets' defense. Boost the power of bomb skills. May cast blast with certain skills. Counterattack with normal attack. And beef. Alright, we're in the new area, and also, apparently, new weapons. This, there are some pretty seasoned fighters in here. This shop must have quite a selection. Check out all those free samples. Mine, 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 mine. What's this? I don't have any idea what that is. Um, I'm going to swap to Matt, because he might know what it is. Don't know what this thing's supposed to be, but it looks like Lance might like it. So apparently, Natalie must be the person who would know about it. Wow, they've got some crazy high-tech stuff here. And I guess I'll give... Eh. Oh my god, I could do some serious science with this. Oh wait, it's a replica. Pfft. I don't even know what that is. I really don't know what that is. Uh, swap out Lance, because he's not the most useful in this area. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. At all. <laughs> Why don't they have any bows on display? This shop sucks. That's a strange shape for a staff, but I like it. It doesn't seem to be for sale, though. That's a nice blade, but it reminds me of this one woman who gave me a lot of trouble. This stuff does not interest me at all. Screw off. Okay, the staff looks like a cat. I don't know what the sword is supposed to be, though. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me. I've got just so many weapons on my travels that I can't decide which ones to use anymore. Should I go for attack power or defense, an elemental advantage, or random buffs? I've heard that the mighty god cat will soon return to cleanse the earth with fire and death. I'm not going to be cleansed without putting up a fight first. I'm looking for some new shoes, but they don't seem to sell important stuff like shoes anywhere. Find me some stuff and I'll give you a rare treasure map. Spike boots, titanium, and steel plates. We got mithril shards and a blue scroll. It just says up, left, up, right, right. The scroll contains instructions for getting through the jungle maze. Oh, and thanks for the shoes. It must be the shoes! We got a steel key. I don't remember where any steel blocks are. God hand. Drains MP from targets certain skills. Boosts the power of holy skills. May cast stone fists with certain skills. Breastplate. Ah, wow, that's good stuff. Um... I guess I'll buy that. I'm gonna have to buy it all eventually. So I'll just buy what I can afford right now. Boom. We got a gun, a chainsaw gun. May kill targets instantly. May cast saw blades with certain skills. Randomly cast triple saw blades between turns. Counter attacks with normal attack. Coral key, donut, and turnips. That guy is the greatest and only karate master in Golden Brick. He's accepting students right now. You can learn a lot from him. Oh. Hmm, the black belt is already is always a pretty boring class. Why use your fists when you can use swords? If you want to become my student, prove your skills by sneaking into the Temple of Godcat. Show me an item from the Temple as proof. Blood Orb. Use this to open doors in the Temple Ruins. Ruby and Fine Fur. Alright. 
He failed the step ladder? I guess I won't be able to finish this game now, since there's probably only one of those. I don't think you have what it takes to be a main character anyway. You should leave that kind of stuff to us. We got a gold plate, a dark rune, and a honeycomb. Honeycomb, you say? Like I said, I want to make her a tank as well. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll give that to him right now. Aha! Quickly make a note of this. Here's your reward. We got the elixir life and beef. We never fought these things, I don't think. Maybe we did. I'm not sure. Let's kill them, though. Buff his attack stat because he's going to need it in a minute. And use ice. Oh, cool. Just attack normally. Uh, ice, I guess. And attack you. Cool. I guess I'll just heal up the party. Now, I definitely will not miss. Okay, now that we've confirmed, what was this again, though? Up, left, up, right, right. Up. Left, up, right, and right. Whoa, I didn't think we'd ever get through the jungle, but it was worth it. The plants have completely grown over these ruins. They must be really ancient. They look undisturbed. Maybe we're the first people to ever find them. Okay, I just got an achievement. I wanted to check that. I didn't see what its name was, though. Lost ruins, find the hidden ruins in the jungle. Uh oh, that white clay guy looks like a healer. Why would you ever assume that? Three new enemy types. Okay, we have Angel Eyes, a heavenly floating eye, uses holy wind attacks and can buff other foes. They are weak to darkness, water, and explosions. White clay, a magic wielding warrior which uses holy and attacks and heal of other foes. They're weak to explosions, earth, water, and darkness. And Mage Dog, a powerful mage which uses dark and holy magic, can heal himself and bother their foes, has high magic defense. He's weak to poison. Alright, like I often do, run away! Because I want to change something. Matt, you're going back to the Sapphire... what was the name of it? Sapphire Giant? Yeah. Um... You'll switch over to the fairy bow. I uh, you can just stick with what you have for now. Actually, Lance, you switch back over to where is it? 
mini bomber. Can you upgrade that? No, I don't have a plutonium to core. The tor. What am I saying? Well, that guy's hurt. <laughs> Okay, who was it that's weak against water? All of those. I'll switch over to you first. Bomb them. Okay. All right, it was poison. That's why. Kill the healers. Even though they're all kind of healers from the looks of it. Dead. And you're dead. And dead. <laughs> Glad to see that went my way. I got Mercury, Glass, Silk. Level up for three of my party members. All is good in the world. Treasure Collector. Uh, we got the Dragon Helm. Randomly gives morale status to the player. Randomly gives brave status to the player with the Dragon Armor. Nice. Bunch of gems. There's statues of cats up there. This must be the ruins of another cat civilization. Godcat really showed no mercy. She really did destroy everything the cats had ever built. It's a shame that we'll never fully know what ancient cats were capable of. Meow, 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 purr. All right. I guess we're killing you next. Uh, are you weak to water? Yes, you are. Now yeah, such, so you're dead. Are you... Um... Swap you out. Okay, cool. Have both of them alive so I can scan at least one of them should anything attack. Between turns. Okay, nothing did, so it doesn't matter. Water to kill the strong one. Um, switch over to you. And Scanbot. Now these look all like that summon we have. Gem Idol, an energetic but weak temple enemy. Uses wind, holy, and earth attacks. Um, they're weak to explosions, wind, and darkness. Not ice, you say? Oh, those are new. New elementals. Wind from the looks of it. Mmm, that hurts. Okay. Swap you out to swap over. Throw a res. You know what? Just bomb them. Dang it, had to target her, didn't it? Scan. Okay, these are wind elementals, a powerful monster which uses wind attacks. They are weak to electricity, ice, poison, and darkness. Time to heal. <laughs> I 
I just realized that Matt's gaining like 4,000 health per turn. <laughs> wow. So, ice, electricity, poison. You have no place here, Lance. Ice, you say? I missed. Good job. <laughs> um, electricity, you say? I probably should have healed with her. Poison, you say? Why is he missing so much? What is there? 78. Okay, yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. Okay, so I do have a place for Lance. Lance can up his accuracy. Kind of a long battle, but it's just the way it is. Nothing's ever going to change. We got ham, beef, and donut for that. Okay, guys, next time on Let's Play Epic Battle Fantasy 4, I think this is a longer, ep medium, ep half an hour maybe? If I'm lucky, I'm aiming for half hour episodes. I'm completely losing track of things and then realizing it midway through a long battle and I'm like, ah, oh, crap. But uh, hopefully this was a good length episode. It wasn't actually like a 10 minute episode or like a 50 minute episode. Cross my fingers, I might have to do some editing in here somewhere. Either way. I'll see you all next time.